Kirsten here with Lux Fifth Wheels. I am standing in our new 46FB toy hauler. This toy hauler here is 48.2 in length. I'm gonna take you up towards the bathroom and the bedroom here just to show you what it looks like because this is a great floor plan. Coming up here into the master bedroom here, we have a king size bed. This is gonna be standard in all of our coaches. You can go to a queen size if you want. When you do that, it is gonna give you the larger nightstands. And as you can see on our nightstands here, we have option to put on the nightstand doors there. Another thing I wanted to point out here is above the bed, you have this nice area here for, for knickknacks. If you don't like that, you can add it uh, more cabinet doors here so that you can have added storage. Turning around here, they have opted to do a vanity slide just to give you a little bit more walk space here. And then it'll give you some cabinets here. You can put baskets in here. We can do drawers as well if you prefer to have the drawers. When you do the vanity slide, it is gonna give you the larger mounted TV. This is gonna be a 43 inch smart TV. And if you know from our other toy haulers, the bathroom is normally right here, and then it's the bedroom. So coming in here, we have the front bath. You have a very nice large bathroom here in this toy hauler. You're gonna have some nice storage here. You can do adjustable shelves, pull out drawers, whatever need be. Over here we have the residential paneled shower. This is an upgraded shower with the wood teak seat. And then coming over here, we have the walk-in style closet with the dressers on opposing sides. You have the shoe rack and the hanging bar all the way across. Really great feature here, double bowl vanity sink. So this is really awesome. One of the things I like to point out here is the medicine cabinet. It's not shallow like you would think. This is a very deep, plenty of room. It goes all the way across. Plenty of uh, space next to both sinks here for, so for anything that you need to sit out. We have our solid hardwood doors and drawers. You have the dovetail, soft close. All the hinges are on the bottom for added structure and support. Even the bottom here is solid. One thing I like to point out is all of our water shutoffs are gonna be at the point of water source. So you do not need to go to that pass-through storage to do so. They have added the ASA in-command touch panels. Normally it's gonna to be toggle switches, but you can add this if you'd like. It goes through here and it, um, you can adjust all of your lighting with um, dimming and you can do, when you're in the living room, your TV, if you have the televator. Coming back through here, all solid hardwood barn doors. It's, it's gonna be um, frosted panels here, but you can do the solid inserts if you would like. In the 46 FB model, I'm not sure if you've seen the 47 FB, the 47 FB has the breaker box is gonna be located over here. So in the, it's a new location now for the, the breaker box in this location and it will be uh, right by the door here. So all of your controls are hidden in this model, which is really nice. And you have up here is your in command, your C level, if you have the camera optioned on, your Truma on demand hot water heater, that'll be accessed from here as well. Coming into the kitchen, very similar to the 47FB, it does have a few changes that I'd like to go over. One thing I wanna point out is the wireless charger here. This is gonna be standard on all of our models. That is a really neat feature. They've added the flip up countertop to give some added space. Single composite sink was added in this one. Standard's gonna be that double bowl stainless sink. One thing in the kitchen that you're gonna notice is there's not a lot of outlets. People are thinking, well, where are the outlets? They're all gonna be tucked up underneath all of your cabinetry so it's not going to be on your backsplash. Coming over here to this wall, this is a very versatile wall here. You can do many different things. Just talk to your rep about this. So maybe you don't need the coat hooks for, for any type of aprons or keys. You maybe want more spice racks. So go ahead and talk to your rep about this location right here and really personalize it to what you like. Come over over here, full pantry. Again, another very versatile space. Lots of storage here, very deep. You can do adjustable shelves, pull out drawers. You can make this a coffee nook or even a split pantry if you would like. 
So in the 47FB, this, the coffee nook is right here. Maybe you like that feature. We could definitely do something similar right here as well. Bring this, make this a split pantry and bring this countertop all the way through. 24 inch residential oven. We have a few different options. Standard is going to be the induction cooktop, or you can go larger if you'd like to cook and do that 30 inch. Again, nice cabinet space, plenty of storage, and it's very versatile. So maybe you want to pull out trash can right there, or you maybe you want to put a wine cooler right here. That's a very good spot for it as well. All of our microwaves are convection. You have another pantry over here. Again, dovetail, soft close. Hinges are on the bottom for added structure. You could do the same above, or you could do the adjustable shelves. All of our appliances are gonna be residential. This is the standard fridge right here. It is an LG fridge. It's very large. I'll go ahead and open that up because a lot of people like to look. Sorry, we have some snacks in here. This space over here, you could put a dishwasher right here if you like. If you choose not to, that is okay. It is going to be um, dishwasher prepped. So if you want to, um, for resale purposes in the future, you can let them know that you could put a dishwasher right here. Silverware drawer tray. Your sink covers can fit nicely under the silverware drawer tray so you don't have to leave them out or set them on your countertops, which is nice. 5,000 BTU fireplace. They have option to do the televator in this model, which is really cool because when you put this down, there's a nice window back there. So if you're not really into watching TV, you can go ahead and put that down. Aaron's gonna do that for us here so we can take a look. And then you have a nice view behind that TV there. And then you can decorate if you'd like. All the lighting is gonna be dimmable. So maybe it's a little bright. And you wanna have some mood lighting. So when you are watching TV, there's a nice sound system here. You got an LG sound bar and there's a subwoofer. Turn those lights down and enjoy a movie night. Lambright furniture. This is an upgraded furniture. It is gonna be standard in a couple of the different toy haulers, but talk to your rep about that. This is an extruded polyurethane material. It is very comfortable. The, the fabric here, it feels just like a soft leather. It's not leather. Like I said, it's an extruded polyurethane. It feels like butter. So theater seating on this side here, and then you got your love seat over here. All of these do recline. They are manual. If you would like power, please talk to your representative about that. Over here above the love seat, you can see that they've added overhead cabinets. So you can do that if you would like. They're very deep. You can put some of those seasonal items up there, maybe some larger pots and pans that you didn't have room for. The loft entrance is going to be right here. You can delete the loft if you would like, or if you don't like the loft entrance from over on this side, you can do it from the garage. There will be an egress window and a fantastic fan up there. And just to turn you around real quick, sorry, Aaron, I did not touch base on this area right here. Standard is gonna be the boost dinette. If you do the outdoor entertainment center, you're gonna have the buffet style table. This table does pull out here. It's just a push of a button. You can put one or two leaves in this. And then they added the solid surface top to the buffet. This is the Furion camera monitor that will come with the four camera system. And then when we're outside, I will make sure I point those locations out for you. If you do not like these side curtains, they are Velcro and you can just pull those down. The cabinets in here are beachfront. They are raised panel. We have a shaker panel as well. So it's just that flat panel. We have four different colors. This is the beach front. We have the Brazilian, we have the gray, and then we have a cherry color as well. And then the wall board and the toy hauler is gonna be standard. We do have soft, soft touch walls, so if you want some more information on that, make sure you give us a call. Coming out into the garage, this is an 11-8 garage. They have carried the tile all the way back. This is the marine grade mat option that you could add to the garage space if you would like. They went ahead and did a half bath in here we can rotate it if you would like so you can get more length out of your garage space. There is an entertainment cabinet over here. So in your garage, it's going to come standard with the, the Jensen CD player, your Alpine speakers, and your subwoofer. They got your TV connects back here. And then the bathroom here, half bath, 
plenty of room in his space. I get a lot of comments about even if, even our half bath, you can get in here and you actually have space to move around, shut the door and not have to worry about leaving the door open to use the facilities. This space right here, you can use it as a bedroom, an office space, you know, four wheelers, golf carts. We just need some dimensions. Here you have your Happy Jack bunk system. It's gonna be twin size bunk up here and then your sofas below that also can be turned into a bed. And then right back here, you have some more added storage. So you are not lacking storage in this at all. ACs are not standard in the garage space, but you can add them. They have went ahead and add, add an 11K AC drop-in back here. So whenever you need to personalize this space, um, just let your representative know. Aaron here is walking on our patio, so I wanted to take a look at this real quick. Just so you know, this is a 1,500 pound weight limit when it is in the patio position. When it's down to put your toys up, it is a 5,000 pound rated ramp door. I will take you guys on a trip around the exterior here, and I'll see you soon. Here we are on the exterior of the 46 FB. The colors are very, very vibrant on this coach right here. All automotive paint, no decals. Even our Lux logo is gonna be painted on. You're gonna have three coats of clear. It's gonna be wet sand, cotton buff. You can choose any automotive color. Just let us know, even if you wanna match your truck, we just need to get that paint code. So walking around here, you can see the on-demand hot water heater is right here. You're gonna have the equalizer leveling, which is right here, the auto leveling. So you don't need to get through your pass-through to work that. And when we're talking about cameras, there is gonna be one right here, one on the other side of the coach, one above the door, and one in the rear. You're gonna have two 40 pound propane tanks, one on either side, a 2000 watt inverter standard, a very large pass-through storage right here, which you could add the more ride tray slide if you'd like. One thing I do get asked a lot about is what comes with the coach when you would pick up for delivery. So I just wanna point this out real quick. You're gonna get a starter kit here. It comes with quite a few things. I'll have Aaron just kind of pop up close to that so you guys can take a look at that. So that will come with your coach when you come for delivery. Looking in our pass-through storage is one of the things I really love. It is so nice, nice, neat, tidy. You're gonna have, if you have the Arctic package, your PEX lines are gonna be insulated. They've upgraded to the three-stage clear source water filtration system. If you don't do that, the standard is gonna be a one filter for a whole coach water filtration system. I mean, if you even look at this wiring, all this wiring is gonna be labeled. Um, you're gonna see it's, it's loomed in the walls. All your heat ducts are individually ran. Everything here is built for serviceability so that you can service it when you are on the road. Here you have your wet bay. All of our coaches are gonna be solar and satellite prepped. You're gonna have your outdoor shower. You can, if you have an external satellite, you can put that here or external so solar panels. It's gonna come with additional paint. So if you have anything that you need to touch up at all, you'll have that. You have your Dometic uh, furnaces here. It's gonna be two 20,000s that are standard. Again, if you do the art package like they did on this coach, it's gonna be two 35,000 BTU furnaces. Along here, you can see this nice belt rail. It's gonna cover up all those screws and keep them protected from the elements. They have done slide room paint on this coach right here. If you were not gonna add the slide room paint, it still would be painted one of the main colors of your coach. All of our slides are gonna be a flush mounted slide. They are a triple bulb seal. So it really gives it a nice sleek look. This right here is gonna access the back of your refrigerator so that you can do any type of maintenance or winterization. All the microwaves are gonna be vented to the outside along with your dryer if you choose to have one of those. All metal fender skirting, no plastic whatsoever. Above all of your wheel wells, you're gonna have added protection. So if you were to have a blowout, it's gonna protect that sidewall. 17 and a half inch H-rated tires, all independent suspension, Kodiak hydraulic disc brakes. That is standard on our coaches. Toy haulers are gonna have Dexter independent suspension. We also have more right independent suspension that you can upgrade to. Equalizer leveling, much beefier than what you're used to. You're gonna be in our coaches, even if you just have the two front jacks down, when you're inside that coach, you're not gonna feel that side-by-side -side motion. They're color-coded and individually home run to the hydraulic pump up front for ease of serviceability. 30 foot power cord reel. You can add the power cord reel if you would like. This one is optioned on. It's gonna have fuel tanks right here, 20 and a 40 gallon. The 20 is gonna run your gen, 40 is for your toys. And then you have a fuel pump so that you can fuel pump into the other. It is lockable as well. So a lot of people ask about that. And then you have these clips right here to hold up your compartments.
You're gonna have cross ventilation for the toy hauler. One on the other side there, so if you do have the toys in there, it's for the fumes. Dual pane frameless windows. Nice rear ladder here, so when you do need to get on your roof and do any type of maintenance, it is a full walk-on roof. And then again, your ramp door. You could add that patio enclosure if you would like. This is very easy to lift up and put away. You can literally just lift it and it goes right up. There's that exterior rear camera there for you. Plenty of lights on the coach, on the rear, on the side. Lots of markers to let everybody know that you're coming. You have a rear entry door here into the garage. They've added the step above entry stairs. It does have an extra step and a half at the top there. These go all the way down to the bottom. If you're on an unlevel ground, these are really good for that because you can adjust it for what uh, the terrain is like there. LP quick disconnect at the rear of the coach. And then you're gonna have a spare tire carrier. Both of those are standard on the coaches. You're gonna have exterior outlets. And then like I was saying, when they did that buffet style table, it gave them, the, they did the outdoor entertainment center. So you're gonna get that 43 inch TV, which it, you also can lock that as well. The toy hauler is gonna come standard with two awnings. You're gonna have an AM, FM, Bluetooth radio right here, another exterior outlet, marine grade speakers. And they've opted to add the keyless entry onto this door right here, which will also come with a key fob. They added that vanity pop out that I was telling you about. And there is the other access to the other furnace. These packs right here, these are dimmer packs. This is the brains for your lighting. Like I was telling you inside, all of that lighting is going to be dimmable for you. Outlets is definitely not something that we lack on here. Pass-through storage doors are very sturdy. There's hardly any flex to those at all. They're going to be double locked and they have a really nice seal to them. Again, 40 pound propane tank. And then just looking at the exterior paint one more time, this is the Tsunami paint scheme. So this is going to be an upgraded paint. A lot of people like to option this on the toy hauler. If we just kind of pop around here real quick, just to look at this one is a two color paint scheme. That is what is standard masking on the toy hauler. So that gives you a little bit of a look on the difference of those. And then with the front compartment here, the Gen Y hitch pin is gonna be standard on this model right here. So you're gonna have a 25,999 gross vehicle weight. They've opted to do the generator. It is gonna be a, a Cummins Onan generator here. Four six volt AGM batteries are standard and then ease of access to your hydraulic pump should you have any servicing. All right. I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this with me on the 46FB. I hope you really enjoy it. If you have any questions, please give us a call.